Wow, guys, check this out. There's even monkeys up here. This is insane. This one's drinking a Lipton iced tea. Welcome to Phuket Island, one of the most visited regions of Thailand and a place known for having incredible beaches and also being an access point to many of the surrounding islands. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what $20 can get you here in this island paradise in Thailand. I will also be taking you guys to many of the iconic beaches as well as the Big Buddha Temple. Join me for an awesome adventure from here in Phuket. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day in Thailand. Today I'm talking to you guys from a completely different region. We are on one of the most famous islands in all of Thailand, the island of Phuket. And today I'm going to be filming a video that I love filming on this channel and that is what can $20 get you here in Thailand. Phuket is known for being one of those destinations that is a lot more expensive than other regions in the country. However, today I'm going to prove to you guys that you can in fact travel here on a budget and still visit plenty of beaches, many different cafes, and a bunch of restaurants. Now, right now, I'm not gonna lie, it is extremely humid out right now, so I think we're gonna be spending a lot of our time at the beach. Now, first things first, we are gonna go get a coffee, get some breakfast, because the first beach we're heading to today is about 25 minutes away. Now, Phuket is not only a destination that many travelers come to spend quality time in, but also one of those destinations that many fly into to visit other surrounding islands here in the southern region of Thailand. Now Phuket also has an international airport, so it's extremely accessible to many different countries around the world. And right now, let me just tell you something, guys. The energy here is picking up every single day. There are tourists from all around the world here right now. So if you're planning on coming out to Phuket, right now is probably the best time because I give it about another two, three months and wow, this place is going to be full. All right, guys, enough talking. We're going to see what $20 or 700 Thai baht can get you here in this island paradise of Thailand. Now, we're going to be kicking off today's video here in Patong Beach, which is one of the most popular tourist areas on the island. This is potentially where you're going to be finding yourself when visiting Phuket. Now, it's one of the best places to base yourself out of, in my opinion, especially if you're here for a short time. Although it is extremely touristic, this is where you're going to find the nightlife. The beaches are extremely close and also a lot of food which is by far one of my favorite things to indulge in here in Thailand. Now today, we're gonna be using this beautiful scooter to get around the island. Now this scooter actually costed me five US dollars a day. Extremely affordable and definitely a lot cheaper than taking taxis or private transfers around to different beaches. Now renting a scooter here in Phuket is extremely easy. All you need is a deposit of 100 US dollars or a passport, but I never recommend leaving your passport because that just sounds super sketchy to me. So $100 deposit, five US dollars a day, and you got yourself a scooter. Now I do recommend getting an international driver's license because you can get pulled over by Thai police and get asked for that document. And the last thing you wanna do is be handing over, you know, a couple bots every few hours paying fines. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't have an international driver's license and I haven't been stopped yet but this morning did start off a bit rough. I did come out to my motorcycle completely chained up and I had to go to the police station and pay 500 baht because I parked it in the wrong area. So definitely do keep an eye out on that. But yeah, this is gonna be our badass machine that we're gonna use to navigate through many of the beaches and do stay tuned until the end of the video because if you think $20 isn't gonna get us to the nightlife, you're wrong. We're for sure gonna spend some time partying on Bangla Road. All right, let's start today's adventure guys. And we have found our coffee. Now, I actually looked this place up on Google Maps. It's called Bang Coffee, and wow, it's super beautiful, and it's located just outside of like the main beachfront area, which makes it extremely perfect place to stop by, and they have the most affordable coffee I've had in Patong so far. 55 baht for a nice iced latte. Wow, and it is delicious. You can't go wrong. And I'm also quite surprised at the menu. 
They have a lot of different kinds of foods ranging between 40 to 60 baht, almost impossible to find right along the beachfront. So it definitely is worth it to hop onto your scooter, take a taxi and just veer off a few streets from the main waterfront and you're gonna save yourself a lot of money and also have yourself a great quality breakfast or a lunch or a dinner. So you might notice all the beautiful shots. I'm not filming alone today. I am with Gladys. So thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. And she just got done reminding me that we're on a $20 budget. So she said, Chris, you probably shouldn't order the breakfast. You should get yourself a banana bread. So they actually have banana bread for 20 bots. And I think that's actually a great choice. So I'm gonna go ahead, enjoy my banana bread, finish up these lattes, and then we're gonna hop onto the motorcycle and make our way up a little bit north to the first beach. Now I'm super excited. Phuket is known for its beaches. And in this video, I'm not only gonna show you guys how far you can stretch $20, but I'm also gonna show you guys some of the most amazing beaches in the area. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep 95? Yes, please. Now, first things first, we need gas. We're gonna go ahead and put 40 baht into the scooter and that should be enough to get us around to all of the beautiful beaches today. Thank you. Uh, uh, understand that we get one chance, one chance, you. We just hopped into a 7-Eleven. 7-Elevens here in Thailand are absolutely everywhere. And if you guys can tell, I got this thing on my face and that is because here in Thailand, you still need to wear these inside of businesses. I know, it sucks, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Now, I stopped in here to get ourselves a nice water bottle because water is one thing that you're gonna need while here in Thailand. And as you can tell, you can get a big liter for 20 baht, around 75 US cents, but you can also get these ones here for around 10 baht literally 13 cents for a water bottle in the u.s water is more expensive than soda so i love that we just made it to the first beach of today and i must say the drive was absolutely incredible we even stopped at a viewpoint on the side of the road that gave us an amazing view of so many secluded beaches actually one of those beaches we were trying to access ourselves. i'll leave the name of it right here and it was actually closed so we couldn't get down into it but it's fine right now we just made it to suiting beach which had amazing reviews on google and honestly i like it there's not that many people out here trying to sell you things sell you umbrellas chairs massages like on patong beach very very nice and i must say the water looks incredibly blue now, one thing I am noticing right off the bat is that there is a lot of trash on this beach. That is very, very sad. But do keep in mind, guys, these beaches were shut down for like the last two years. Maintenance stopped. Everything stopped here in Thailand. So a lot of these beaches are just barely starting to go through a maintenance phase and just starting to get cleaned up. Okay, you know what, guys? I think it's time to get the cocoa right now. Hello. Yeah. Can I get one cocoa, please? Yeah. Coconut. Oh, they're nice and cold too, huh? Yeah, I love me an ice cold coconut. You said 40 baht. Yes, for one. Thank you so much. Cup and cup. Oh yeah, with this nice ice cold cocoa, we'll be able to relax perfectly on the beach. Oh man, delicious. Oh, amazing, thank you. And just like that, we got ourselves a nice ice cold cocoa on the beach in Thailand for 40 baht. What a way to relax. What a way to start this adventure off right. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Wow guys, what an incredible beach. Seriously, that was an amazing time. Now we're about to hop back onto the motorcycle and continue on to the next one. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in just made it here to Kamala Beach and I'm already telling a huge difference from Sudan Beach here. There is, well, a lot more for tourists. There are massage beds on the beach. I see like a small resort with an oyster bar that Gladys actually wants to go and check out. 
and the beach, yeah, it's a lot cleaner than the last one we were at. I definitely like it a lot more. I love how you can see all of the villas on the side of the cliff and of course a lot of surfers out. Now one thing I did notice about this beach is that there's actually surfboard rentals here. So if you're into surfing, Kamala Beach is probably the place you want to visit. There are surfboard rentals, boat rentals, all kinds of fun stuff you can get into here. Now I think we're actually gonna relax here, enjoy the view for a few minutes and then continue on with the trip because there is so much to do and I swear the days when you're here on the beach on the island they go by like this, extremely fast. So right now we're back in Patong Beach, but we're not stopping here. We're about to continue cruising even more south now to the Big Buddha, one of the most iconic temples in all of the Phuket Islands. I I know I'll be okay, cause I found my way. So we just pulled over on the side of the road on our way to the Big Buddha here at Caron Beach. And this is one of the most popular beaches here in the area as well. And we're gonna hope to visit after the Big Buddha. Now I must say, right now the vibes are incredible. There's a lot of street food action going on. So we decided to stop on by because we saw all of these beautiful street card stalls and by far, the street food here in Thailand is where you're gonna find some of the best cuisine. So, right now we're gonna stop by. I just saw her menu. It looks like they got some pad thai, some shrimps, egg rolls, all kinds of good stuff. It looks like they're making some smoothies over on the other direction. So let's grab ourselves a bite to eat and then we'll continue on to the Big Buddha. We only got about 20 minutes left and man, I'm hungry. That little banana bread muffin, it held me over. But usually I go for a much more bigger breakfast, however. Today, we're balling on a budget, baby, $20, and we're gonna stretch it super far. So the view behind me doesn't look the most pleasant, but wow, the beach is incredible, and the breeze makes it enjoyable. Now, right here, I got my chicken pad thai. What a wonderful lunch. Check this out, guys. A pineapple mango smoothie, a chicken pad thai for only, what is that, 70, 50, 130 baht. 130 baht for an incredible lunch, slightly over four US dollars. You cannot go wrong. Now I'm gonna stay here underneath this palm tree, enjoy the view, and then we'll continue on to the Big Buddha. But I also do wanna let you guys know, man, chicken pad thai for 70 baht here in Phuket. In Chiang Mai a few days ago, I had a massive portion of chicken pad thai for 40 baht. So that just goes to show that everything's a little bit more expensive on the island. But come on now guys, I don't think there's any island in the world that you're gonna visit that has more affordable prices than the mainland. Simply impossible. Ooh, pigeon almost attacked Gladys behind the camera. But um, yeah, beautiful view, incredible place to sit down and have lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and smash this chicken pad thai and then we'll continue on with our tour. Oh man, this looks and smells incredible, guys. Mm. And we just made it here to the Big Buddha of Phuket. Now, one thing that I actually wasn't sure of prior to coming here was the entrance fee. And as soon as you're making it to the parking lot, there's a huge sign that says, welcome, free entry. So that is exactly what we want to hear. Some good news, a free activity to do here in Phuket. How amazing is this? Now, it's quite incredible that this is one of the largest attractions in the area and that it is completely free. Now do keep in mind, we're about to enter. There is a strict dress code when visiting any temple in Thailand. You need to have a shirt that covers your shoulders and shorts or pants that go past your knees. And for all the women out there watching this, you cannot enter any of the temples with leggings. So do keep that in mind. That way you don't make the long journey out to one of these locations. It doesn't matter if it's here or anywhere else in Thailand because it would suck to make the long drive and then get denied entry. Nobody wants that. That sucks. Make sure to dress appropriately. <laughs> Just
just made it to the front of the big Buddha and wow, it is incredible. It is extremely big. But what I love most about being up here is that you get to actually see the incredible view of all of the surrounding islands surrounding Phuket. I was not expecting to see this view from up here, especially because we drove through many different towns and there was a large section where you know, I actually didn't feel like we were near the coastline, but I guess I was wrong. We are completely surrounded by water. It is incredible. Wow, guys, check this out. There's even monkeys up here. This is insane. This one's drink, drinking a Lipton iced tea. What? I was not expecting to see monkeys up here. That's cool. <laughs> Wow, creo que hay muchos. Óyelo. Wow, there are literally monkeys everywhere and they're just running up and snatching things from people. So if you're coming up here, definitely make sure you don't have any snacks just out there in your hands. And definitely hold on to your phones and purses because you'd be mad if one of these bad boys picks up your purse or your phone and just takes off. But how cool is that, Gladys? It's this is cool. amazing, it's huh? Cool, it's cool, it's amazing. Look, the view. The view the is blue. incredible. The weather, it's fresh here. The big Buddha, it's amazing because it's, it was made with marble, uh, with white marble. So it looks And it's beautiful. pretty, and it was made pretty recently, only a few years ago. So yeah. yeah, overall, I've had a great time up here at the big Buddha. I think it's definitely one of those spots you have to visit. And yeah, guys, the view is absolutely stunning. And the monkeys, they're absolutely everywhere. Over there, look, in the roof, right? <laughs> oh, and they're all running around with yeah. bags of food. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah. Wow, what an incredible time here at the Big Buddha. Highly recommend it. I left a 40 baht donation, which I felt was extremely reasonable. And now we're gonna hop back onto the scooter and try and hurry back to Batong Beach because the sun is setting in about 45 minutes and we got a 30 minute drive. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we make it. Oh man, guys, we're lucky. We made it just in time. Right now, the sun is setting. The vibes are beautiful here in Patong. And I just purchased myself a beautiful Chang beer. Gladys, a cup of mangoes. Now this Chang beer was actually only 70 baht right on the beach from one of these tents right behind me. An absolute deal in my opinion. Hold on, I'm taking my shoes off. I'm getting cozy, this is beautiful. Now I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about a few more prices, that way you can have some prices in mind for certain activities that you can do here in Phuket. Now right now I'm looking right in front of me and I'm seeing a lot of jet skis. Here you can find jet ski rentals for around 30 US dollars for 15 to 20 minutes. So definitely not a long time, but I think that's really all you need to go out there and get that jet ski experience in Thailand. Now I'm not gonna lie, it looks absolutely beautiful and I'm even contemplating doing it, especially during a sunset. Wow, this looks incredible. Now they also offer parasailing here that looks pretty intense too for around 30 US dollars for 15 minutes as well. And I must say, it's quite crazy. You got a little Thai guy that jumps on top and just hangs freely on the and steers the canopy while you enjoy a parasailing adventure. So that sounds pretty cool. Now the most expensive thing on this beach, I must say, Hi, has to be, you? hello, how are you? What are you selling? Welcome to Thailand. Thank you so much, what are you selling? Bracelets and ankles. How much are the bracelets? Uh, bracelet 100 baht. I make. Uh, you want name? I can make you name. Okay. And how much are these ones? Uh, uh, this one for the leg, 150 baht. 150 baht? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Thank you. Why? Because because we bought the same we bought the same elephant bracelets for 50 baht. Yeah, out of okay. her budget. Yeah, out of the budget for today. But nice okay. lady. We just bought one. We just bought. She's so beautiful. Why you cheap money? No, but I'm not cheap money. We just bought four. Where? We bought four, four yesterday Chiang in Chiang Mai. Yeah. Same Chiang color. Chiang oh, beautiful city. But thank you, thank you. We thank bought a lot. You. See, she knows we're not even capping. <laughs> She's. <Yeah. laughs> we literally. She's like, okay, they know I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, we bought we bought them in Chiang Mai for around 30 baht each, 
Actually, the most expensive we paid was 50 baht. So, yeah, you know, just things you got to keep in mind. But if you're on a short vacation, then yeah, you got to buy those souvenirs that come up first. But here on this beach on Patong, a lot different than today. Here, people come up to you and try and sell you absolutely everything. But yeah, guys, right now we're going to enjoy the sunset. Then we're going to go home, get showered up. I'm going to enjoy my $2 beer. And then we're going to go home, get showered up, and I'll see you guys for dinner. So I hope you guys enjoy this beautiful sunset with us. And I believe I have 300 and 305 baht left to spend, which should be plenty of enough for dinner. You're rich. I'm rich out here, balling on a budget. No, no, no. Let's be real. In Bangkok, you'll be rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you're like... It's kind of. Okay. You have something for today. Yeah, but in Bangkok, man, your money just stretches so far. You, everything we purchased today is literally half or even a third of the price in Bangkok. It's pretty intense. But yeah, we're going to enjoy the sunset, guys. And I'll see you for dinner somewhere around here in Patong. All freshened up now and just made it to one of the local night markets. Now, this is where you're going to not only find amazing food, but also food for the best prices. Now, here in Phuket, there are so many different night markets throughout the town and I highly recommend visiting them. Right now, I'll let you know exactly what the name of this one is down here, but wow, there are so many incredible food options. This is gonna be hard to choose from. That was beautiful. Wow, thank you. But when you fill up, maybe three minutes to come back. Okay, thank you, sir. Wow, guys, check this out. We got a beautiful tam yun for only 70 baht, a nice pot siu with chicken for another 70 baht, and a coconut smoothie for 40 baht. So let me do the map. We just spent 180 baht for these three items. And Gladys also ordered a papaya salad. So 180 baht, what is that? Around six US dollars for two amazing courses and a coconut smoothie. You simply can't go wrong. Now this Patsy U plate in the center of Patong, right next to the walking street, easily costs you 180 baht, 200 baht on its own. So definitely veering off from the main streets, is always a good idea and you're gonna eat extremely well. We're gonna enjoy this beautiful dinner and then we're gonna head over to the walking street to enjoy a little bit of this nightlife. And just like that, guys, we have just made it to Bangla Road, one of the places that you're gonna for sure visit when you're on the island and quite possibly make some bad decisions. Now, before we jump on in there and spend the rest of our money on some drinks, I do wanna go ahead and give you guys a little recap of everything that we bought today so far with our $20. Now, I got a long list because I've already forgotten, but let me go ahead and tell you guys, we got some gas, we got some coffee, we got a breakfast, we got some water bottle, a coconut, a mango smoothie, pad thai. We donated to the temple, visited a temple, so many iconic beaches. We bought a beer for sunset and dinner. All of that for $20. How incredible was that? Now, in that price, I didn't include my accommodation or my scooter rental. So quite realistically, I spent around 40 US dollars today including everything. Now, you can definitely spend as much as much or as little as you want when visiting Phuket. Totally depends on what kind of person you are and how big your budget is. Now, right now, I got 125 baht left. That's enough for like two beers on Bangla Road. Let's enjoy a little bit of the nightlife, have ourselves a drink, and then, you know what, guys? I think we're gonna be bringing this video to an end. You're always smarter.